had me up late last night and just thinking about this three-year-old that, that you know that has outraged this entire nation i mean outrage 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 isaiah hayes and that three-year-old last night i tell you i don't jump out so yeah but i had to go meet the parents last night because as you know at, you know i will after the funeral and what i spoke to the grandmother abroad that in fact she, I, I believe she flew in today, that she's supposed to, to um, in fact, they will be meeting with attorney Om Lala with respect to the, in the near distant future. Not to near, not to the near distant future. You know, ladies and gentlemen, an autopsy conducted on the body of the three-year-old Isaiah Hazel, who died inside his, his school bus in California, he really died from extreme heat and dehydration. Isaiah lived at Trotman Road in California and was the people at the Morning Star Early Child Center in California. Hoover was found dead inside the school bus, which was supposed to have dropped him off. I wonder if we have all the videos of the school bus and whatnot. Which was supposed to drop him off at the school earlier on Thursday. However, he fell asleep while on his way to school and the driver forgot him inside the vehicle which remained locked all day at his perseverance home. At her perseverance home until she returned to... You, listen to me, you hearing this? However, he fell asleep while on his way to school and the driver forgot, the driver forgot him inside the vehicle which remained locked all day at her perseverance home until she returned to pick up pupils around 145. You really hearing this madness? You hear in this craziness? So wait now, when you drop, when you pick up all those children, so you didn't come outside, pull the, 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 the maxi door to check and see what was going on inside? And it, it was not until 1.45 she returned to pick up pupils uh, uh, when Isaiah was discovered dead in his vehicle. He later declared he was later declared dead at the Coover Health Facility. Woman Superintendent Winchester, Inspector for Garo, Corporal Ramuta, and I know um, Superintendent um, my star, my brother-in-law, he was also on the scene. Homicide Bu uh, Region 3, Homicide Bureau of Investigations, went to the scene and supervised investigation. A post-mortem conducted on his body at the Forensic Science Center in St. James earlier today revealed that he died from uh, hypothermia due to extreme heat and dehydration. Homicide detectives are exploring the possible charges of causing the unlawful death of Isaiah. 31 year old Cheryl Smart of motor vehicle PCK 5283. 31 year old Cheryl Smart, a driver of motor vehicle PCK 5283, silver gray, high spaniel van of perseverance in Cuba collapsed and suffered a panic attack while being interviewed by police. You know, I tell, I tell, I, I tell you this today, eh? that is madness. That is madness. Because I only hope, because I am hearing something that she needs to sign at the school. So there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things. This is going to open a, a big can of worms. I do business, I do business. I do business. Be let the chips fall where they may. Look at the little boy. Look at the little boy. Ladies and gentlemen, last night, I went down to the family home. I went down to the family home, and you know, I mean, the family decided to speak with me. Here now, I couldn't do no more. I, 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 I just, I'm just going to show you a little piece. Of, I'm just going to show you a little piece of that interview. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. This is connection with a three-year-old that died today under circumstances that has outraged this entire nation. I decided to come down here to really hear what really went on. You understand? Because you can't tell me you pick up this child in this van and and then we jump by the school, and when you we jump by the school, all the children come out. So, which means I think, you know, I lie down on my bed tonight. Yeah? I come out and I say, but well, wait now. Wait. 
this, this woman didn't come out of this van because which means to say she didn't check and see who come out so she had to sit down in the van and just open the, the, the chair and jump out and she like okay bye and then check nothing to see if anybody leave a bag or lunch kit or whatever I mean look at these people in the back here this is like here now Yes. 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 What exactly went on? Tell me. <laughs> and what is your Alan, name? Judy Vinson. Yeah, Judy, what's, up, what's happening? When was the last time you saw your grandson? Your three year old grandson? <laughs> the last time I saw him was week before before he go to Bego uh -huh. with his next grandmother. And when he come back, I didn't see him after that. But his mother, he asked his mother if he could come by his grandmother. He want to see me, and his mother tell him she go bring him tomorrow, please God, to see me because I live in Dong Mong Do side. Uh. And this evening, this evening, his father called me, and now come from Miaru. And his father called me and tell me, come. So when um no, he say um. Isaiah, they know kill Isaiah. I say, what? He said, they know kill Isaiah. I say, who Isaiah? He's uh, your grandson. I say, stop talking, stripping this. I can't handle this. I know bury my mother. He say, yes. Only Wednesday, I heard. No, that was his grandmother. The, oh. Yeah. I bury my mother um, the 11th of this month, go make three months. Mm -hmm. I say, I can't handle this. And he said, yes, he said that the driver, the van driver, forget him in the van. Yeah. And she went to school and she didn't take him out of the van. How and he went you back. How this? Mr. Stalin, this is real terrible. This is madness. This is craziness. But rest this... assured, and I said to the on television that we're gonna, we have lawyers stand by. Here now, this I is can't bring total. back your child, but somebody had to pay for this enough. Somebody had to get locked up for this, and this yes, car sweep under the carpet. And no, 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 no. This uh, is my uh, daughter. That she owned, that she only child. She only child. Mr. Allen, she said that she try leave good to go to school. Hmm. She said she try leave good to go to school, Mr. Allen. Right. This is the father. He called me. Why oh, spoke to you on the phone? Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. boy. Oh. oh, good. I can't find words. I don't know what to ask you. I don't know what to ask you. I don't know what to ask you. I don't, I don't know what to ask you. When was the last time you saw your child? This morning. I so where the child left left from? From my home by me. Home by you, right? Uh huh. I dropped him by my aunt this morning. Uh huh. And the top of bus driver just picked him up to drop him to school. Right. Well, apparently she picked him up. Yeah. And that was it. How long are you going to that school now? How long are you going to that school? Since he's two and a half, he's a bright child. My child is not a dunce. My child is a bright child. I said my child after school two years or something. Come on, Mr. Allen. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh. <laughs> 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 I find a story not adding up. Something not adding up. Tell me why, Mom. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Ah. Because so, I can't understand how you can forget a child in a van. And listen, my you child... Don't, you don't check your van? <laughs> no, and the child I have, uh. my child is going to stay quiet. Yes, he probably fall asleep, but what I'm saying, it's true and the tired me and his father not really together. We now start the part yeah, back yeah. up a little thing for yeah. the child's sake, right? We went uh. by him last night. Mm -hmm. We went by him last night. Yeah, mommy and daddy, and he started to smile. And I say, happy to see mommy and daddy together, boy. <laughs> this morning, when, I, when the father go and chop him, he found a message and said, drop a man thing. <laughs> I unwork, I unwork and them call me and work and tell me my child is. <laughs> I hustle in because we have medicals going on for police. So I hustle in to, I say, look at the time and I leave here to go and take up my child. Me even eat no lunch, nothing. I hustle in and I say, I have to go and pick him up early because I come in and get a good rest because we have tomorrow is real pace again. <laughs> you understand? This thing I call to hear my child dead. I used to teach, I used to teach in a preschool. And then evenings we used to drop the train and them home with the bus. When them train and them come out of the bus, we check in to make sure if they leave the lunch kit or something. If it drop them out. So what about if a child leave the lunch and they have nothing to eat? You ain't going and check to see if the child leave the lunch kit. Now nice slackness. It's not no way I can describe that now. It have no way. Dad, it have no way. It have no way yeah. I can describe that. That is slackness. And I stand in here today 
And I'm telling you, let me tell you something. I don't care what. Somebody had to get luck up for this. It's it nothing. It are, it are, this is crazy. This is just like a nightmare. Good. I can't describe this enough. You leave him good. Listen. Like, tell you my paws reason. I just, this is just crazy. I don't, know, I don't know how you are going mad as yet. Or not. I don't know how you are going mad as yet. You got to sit and come here until I go thing, tomorrow and I see my child. The only thing that go wrong with him, and it's not the way. It's not yet a runny nose. I get the call from him, a runny uh. nose. I make your father give him the syrup this morning. Yeah. Pan, uh, syrup this morning. And we gave him vitamins. Yeah. He had two kind of vitamins. He just take a booster and the next one. We give him the vitamins. He get the panadol syrup. I pack his lunch, everything, because yeah. he just brush his teeth, he just bathe, he just do everything by the hand. Always yeah. just get up, change the clothes, and carry But the him. whole thing, let me tell you something. Don't matter what, drop asleep in the van. It's my child. What and you yeah, leave, no, so you did not check your van. Sometimes I just had to tote him out of the van, because he just be sleeping. Be sleeping. Be when it's me and he alone, my child just get up 4 o'clock with me, 4 o'clock with me. I just had to reach to work by half past six, seven o'clock for the latest, oh, and I have to leave here, go Kuva. From Kuva, go Perseverance to drop my child, and I do that every day. Na. Every day I do that with my child. My child getting up four o'clock sometimes. The teacher, see, I see, I just real fall asleep in school, so I had to tell the teacher how we just get up early. And I just do extra work with him on my message in the teacher in the night, and asking Miss so I see, I do today, wait till I need to work with him on. If you go inside by him, you see box about what set of box because he was learning to write to make him trace something. So when this woman really discovered that when when this woman really discovered this child in this van, <laughs> what time she come back by that school? School is go out. Two o'clock about two o'clock. So she come back with she that child in that two. van <laughs> two o'clock. From uh, since she morning. Even, she even cleaned the van before she took up the train and them. Um, so nothing. you have checked your van, you have seen nothing? So when you drop out all these children, you drive in, you pull in the yard, you are coming, you, so which means that you never come out of your van to come out, walk outside, so open the, the door, to see, see, so the children had to come out by itself, so you actually see, who leave a lunch kit, who leave something? So you not coming out of the van? Come, uh, you never come out your van? Well, I spoke with seniors, they said that they took her into custody a short while ago, and, but, no. I can just imagine. Oh God. That's my only child. <laughs> my only and how child. old are I you? I have to make my child 27. And what is your full name? Amanda Vincent. <laughs> 27. <laughs> Every day, as I come out of the hospital, I see, as I come out today, back in tomorrow, please God. Two surgeries to put inside I do when I was pregnant with my child. Me, I want you one thing with my child. And oh, you feel tonight? I'll see, when me and his mother, when he, me and he break up his mother, his grandmother, and all that same. This child know we are wrong, boy. But here now, I have to tell you, let me tell you something. I tell you, I tell you, listen, I tell you this tonight. You really have to go. Because our next father, our next father, that watch me, at the police station, would have picked up his father's watching right now. The police station would have picked up his father's watching right now. I tell you that, because let me tell you something. People are taking that. So I this. I didn't see her. Why I went to school, I didn't see her. Uh huh. The van was here, but I didn't see her. But the driver was hiding, you know what? I didn't pay school fee and all today. So I tell any teacher, normally, if I was here, I'm in school, and the father go to pay school fee, the teacher. Ah. School fee and the van fee. The school fee and the van fee. fee. How much is the van fee? Two eighty yeah. for the month. Two eighty for the month. I just pay one forty. He just pay one forty. Half and half. So the school, the 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 school hire this van. Well, we don't have the school hire the van, but she just work with the school. She working with the school for years. We get referred to her by my son cousin and then which I did stay. And I believe and what, she, is, she, and, and what is the driver name? Cheryl Tate. Sh Cheryl Tate from where? From Kuva. Is it a Kuva or Perseverance? But his well, aunt and them <laughs> his aunt and them refer her to us so, so we trust really them. Can we see the room with the books and whatnot? Yeah, right yeah, inside they live in. Since he probably turned a year, he grandmother sent money and he, we went and purchased that bike for him. 
Ik ga niet slapen. 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 Ik I never used to play my child is true, spelling his name, he comes oh my God, this way. He's spelling numbers, my child. <laughs> Lucky bear right there, he never sleep on this bed. When my sister and them come, mm. he'll sleep. This is like, because now the box fall out of the ball and all of that. Like, all this is the box. All this. All this is box. <laughs> he left first Bible. Oh, cool. <laughs> this is the book he found out my fame, all them things. I used to read this for him. <laughs> All these are books, and I just some of the books. This is books I buy. All these, all these is books I buy for my child. All that, all this for him to write. If I pull here, look. Anyway, I turn his books. Look. I never used to play with my child. I never used to play. I never used to play. If I go to put more for his school books, he knows that, right? <laughs> he has books in here where he ain't use yet. This is books where he complete. <laughs> Look, my child is not a dance child. Only three, only three. Mm. Come, come. But there's so many things he complete. Come, come. Okay, come, come. <laughs> only new books. Okay, only okay. new okay, okay, book okay, and thing more, inside it. She come back by the school. Then, realize the then she realized that a, ch a child. And maybe she probably pulled the van. Maybe she probably pulled the van to put her in. You know, she probably noticed him on the ground. Even if he falls, he can't fall on that ground. You must hear that, that dead body. You must hear that. Or, or the, or the person knock out the, the code, the knock out self. You must hear that song. And that family is like, for no, or that for effort. And then no ministry of education. You know, <laughs> you know let me die. I'm not feeling sorry for nobody. You know. I mean, honestly, I don't feel sorry for the She has three else. children, and it's not somebody who don't have kids to say, you know, they're not kids conscious. She has three kids. She has a baby smaller than my son. Baby, nobody can watch your child more than you. Take what's she have a baby smaller than my son. She has a son who's not right. S.E.A. And she has a daughter. You understand? It's not to say some kind of killer. But I have to say she kill us now, because... If you... you she, you ain't gonna leave your child and go back and watch. You ain't gonna make nobody do the house of them. We pay any to do that for me to, 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 to transport my child to school. For me to hear and work that my child there. And then you think about it and say, every child to And instead of carrying my kids and then you carry in the school and we're you know, like if I let strain EMTs or some kind of thing. Or the child to perform CPR with the child. Well, I start getting a little teacher, I guess you're the terms of a trying to save my child because. 
If nobody didn't try, she would not try. And the first But the child come out, the child was not, the child was dead when the child mm -hmm. was in the van. Yeah. The child suffocated. Like, oh, I have my child asleep on my bed. Yes, something can happen. Okay, let's just like, say, worst case scenario, <laughs> something happen. As you pick up each other and reach school, you reach school, you realize this child is in a short breath. So by the time you, you, you know, the children leave van, you say, oh God, let me go. Let me go to the hospital one time, let me go. But you tell him you never check nothing. It has no excuse for that. 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 This could send you. This could this this could send me mad. I don't go and see my child when I when I think tomorrow. I go and watch my child when I go. My child, my child, I go and you know the head. But I said I'm fraught and blood too. You know some. Because I care when he said that. You took him when he said that. What you doing? Look at the blood. I'm blood. I'm blood. My uniform still smells like him. Is I took him, I left him up and carried him. The police escorted me to the, to the health center in the van. Why did you then rush to the hospital if it's okay? Rush to the hospital. <laughs> no. I want you to say everything to me, daddy, 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 daddy. daddy. <laughs> Yesterday, you moved him up, you went straight by me. Yeah, I put her both on him, he go on. Daddy, you have to give mommy some next step. Because she wants to beat me, beat me, beat me. I say, see, the next time I do that, I will put a cut skin on you. Hey, what I tell you? I see when you do something wrong, I have to correct you. Don't go and tell your father that I want to be here because I'm not mad. Hey, what I tell you? I start to laugh and come and lie down and hug me up. I lie down on the bed. If I lie down and I say, my head is good. He come and, Mommy, you okay? He always asking me if I okay. And what to give that? You okay? He always asking me if I'm very well. Whatever, we, whatever we can assist with, call me. <laughs> okay, with respect to funeral arrangements. Mm -hmm. okay. Where you laugh a weekend day? I don't know if it's going to be here if I have it at my place. Then my mom comes tomorrow, you know. Yeah, but they're going to be better. Yeah. Wee hey boy. Huh. There's no words. There's no words. And you know, you realize there's not no really, really parents, eh? Look at inside the house, well put away, nice, it neat, it clean. Had a little fridge, the stove, everything neat. You could see the... If the fella trying, the girl trying, they had a little ups and downs, but nevertheless, you know, in the interest of the child. And you could see, you could see good people, good parents, a nice little girl trying. Let me show, them show me a video with the little boy dancing. Look at the little video. Boy, dance with me. Dance. I do it. Dance good now, boy. Dance with me. Dance. Every video, every single video, every video I saw about that child that I say he was dancing, he dancing in the landlord birthday party, he dancing everywhere, he dancing in the church, he dancing for music, he dancing, everything, everything is dancing. But just imagine this, eh? just imagine this, ladies and gentlemen. Just imagine this, the cause of death. The cause of death, ladies and gentlemen, because of what he was dehydrated. And um, extreme hypo, uh, hypothermia due to extreme heat and dehydration. That's what he died from. And you want to hear the worst about it? He had a fruta, a fruta juice. Cool kids. He drank that in the bus. Yes, he said, Gary Ayers. He was dehydrated, but he locked up in the bus. But yes, he said, jail them, boy, jail them. I don't feel sorry who collapse and who fall down and hospital and police and she collapse and I don't I don't business enough. You know. That is slackness, you know. That is slackness. There's no word to describe that again. That is slackness. And then come to the bus, come by the school, 145. Take all the take all the dead child, put the child in the school, and they're trying to resuscitate the child. Uh, 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 try to get up. Ah boy, uh uh, and the child drink his last juice and a fighting for his life in a hot car in a hot van fighting. Come out! I want to come out! I want to come out! And imagine the heat taking him over and he just collapses. Here now, that is torture, you know. That is torture, you know. You taught that that, that child torture to death, you know. I don't think I really understand that, you know. The child. The child wake up, and when the child wake up and he start to realize, oh God, I lock up in this van here. I don't know what to do. 
He took out the little juice where mommy gave him and he started drinking. Okay, I might live a little bit. He realized the heat, the heat in the van, the heat in the van. But she don't care nothing. She ain't watch nothing. Them do business. You think them really business? But I really, I tell you, I tell, listen, I tell you today, I would really like to see the sign the court really sending to people who transport people's children.